OKC now heading into the Pelicans' hometown after beating them in the first two games of this playoff series. New Orleans needed to get this win to pick up some momentum for Game 4 as they could not risk going down by three games to this OKC team, especially when OKC is the road team in this game. OKC young star Jalen Williams heads into the locker room as this first quarter starts off. Neither team could get a shot to go down. CJ McCollum missed six straight shots in this first quarter. The Pelicans finally got a three to go down. Game now tied 11 to 11. After OKC guard Isaiah Joe misses two straight three point attempts. With about 40 seconds left in the first quarter, OKC center Chet Home Green gets a nice defensive stop as he caused a shot clock violation on the Pelicans while he was guarding the paint. CJ McCollum could not get a shot to go in this first quarter as he missed all four of his three point attempts in the first quarter and only made one shot out of his eight total attempt so far. SGA picked up his second foul early in the game, which takes him out the game for some time as this first quarter comes to an end. Jalen Williams makes a tough floater through contact. Herb Jones then makes a three, so fast forward a bit. After an OKC turnover, Lou Dort fouls Valentuna, score now being 40-39 to after OKC goes on a little scoring run. SGA hits a three over Brandon Ingram, who was guarding him very closely. Back on defense, Chet then blocks a Pelicans player shot, and that leads to a third straight three-point make for this OKC team as Pelicans call a timeout to slow down this Thunder squad. As OKC has a 10-point lead with three minutes left to go in the second quarter, Lou Dur is causing havoc on both ends of the court. As he got a defensive stop and then made his third three-point shot of the game, OKC continued to just fire at the Pelicans as Josh Giddy made a jumper. The Pelicans finally hit a shot after a made three from CJ McCollum. OKC goes into the second half with a 14-point lead. Lou Dirt was out there contesting almost every single shot as Ingram only had five points and 19 minutes of play throughout the first two quarters. With Zion Williamson out, the two Pelican stars combined for 12 points in the first half, shooting a combined five for 19 from the field in the first half and with the way that OKC plays they will continue to score and show no mercy and that's usually when the game begins to get out of hand for the opposing team because OKC gives their full effort on both sides of the ball no matter what the score is and will just continue to score on you. CJ got a three to go down but Lou Dirt responds back with his fourth three of the game. Giddy then hits an open three but Ingram responds and hits his first three of the game and Pelicans cut the lead down to 11 with eight minutes left in this quarter. So OKC coach takes a timeout to stop any potential momentum. Ingram hits a nice side step jumper over Chet. Josh Giddy continues to play aggressive on the offensive side of the ball as he earned himself a trip to the foul line. The Pelicans caused the turnover but were not able to score off of this as they just gave the ball right back to OKC. Pelicans keep trying to attack Chet in the paint and it keeps backfiring for them. He now has 10 total blocks through these three playoff games and had three blocks in his game before being subbed out late in the third. Isaiah Joe knocks down the three to put OKC up by 16 and then Jalen Williams hits a three for OKC as well. The Pelicans missed three straight three-point attempts while OKC hit three straight three-point attempts. And that caused the lead to get away from them once again. But Brandon Ingram hits an extremely contested three-point shot, which goes in right at the buzzer. Pelicans go into the fourth quarter down by 16. Okay, C so forced the 17th turnover of the game for the Pelicans, and Jalen Williams hits a step back three as he now has 17 points in his game. Okay, C so now being up by 20 points. Josh Giddy hits his fourth three of the game before following the Pelicans while trying to get a steal. Both Chet and Lou Dort came back in the game. Fast forward to late in the fourth quarter, Chet gets his fourth block on the game, and Jalen Williams drops to the paint over the Pelicans for an easy lay, which is now his 19th point of the game. Herb Jones gets an and one and also makes the free throw, but SGA sauces up the defense and puts OKC up by 20. With there being four minutes left in the game, it's just too late for the Pelicans to make any type of scoring run while also trying to stop OKC from doing the same. OKC goes up to a 3 0 series lead. SGA led the way with 24 points, 8 assists, and 4 steals. Josh Giddy and Jalen Williams each had 21 points.